What's up everyone, James here and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at ProClean by JBL. This is a, uh, a glass cleaner so uh, yeah it should be really interesting. I've seen a lot of people post about how good it is um, so yeah let's give it a go. So what is the product first of all? Well um, as I said it's a, a cleaner. This specifically is a glass cleaner so uh, the idea is to help remove those tough um, uh, lime scale stains that you get on your aquarium um, if you've got hard water and uh, just generally clean the glass if you've got a bit of dust on it and stuff like that so it helps pick up any any dirt and fibers that might be on the glass of your aquarium in terms of the bottle um, it's a bit squidgy and everything but um, yeah it feels quite nice you've got a nice lid to it and a, um, a spray system on the uh, on the product as well um, it's a where is it 250 mil uh solution here as well this this particular one so uh according to the bottle as well it says that it contains sodium benzoate benzoate um fragrances and coloring agents so it's got a nice blue tint to it if you can see there this product was uh, kindly gifted to me by JBL to try out um, they also provided me with a wish wash cloth which is awesome by the way the name and a wish wash sponge as well so the idea is that you can give it a nice wipe down with the solution on this and then uh, dry it off with this, which is uh, pretty cool. So I think what we'll do then is jump straight into it. I have a planted aquarium down the bottom here that uh, is in dire need of a good clean. So uh, let's get to it. So as you can see right at the very back there and to the sides, I've got some really bad lime scale appeared. Um, it's due to the fact that um, before I rescape this tank, a lot of the back was covered and uh, yeah I don't often clean it and as you can see there's just little bits and pieces where the uh, there's a bit of lime scale and uh, a bit of dirt so uh, let's try out um, the product and uh, see how good it is. Alright so as you can see I'm about to uh, give this a go, give it a good shake, get my JBL wish wash cloth and uh, I'm just going to spray some onto the, the rag to start with and then see if any of it comes off. And there you go, you can see already a lot of the lime scale is, uh, is disappeared. That's yeah, crazy effective. So I'm just going to use the mag float just to make sure there's no debris on the inside of the glass as well. It's a bit difficult when you've got a, a racking system in an aquarium that you can't quite reach the, uh, the sides to. Again, I'll just add a bit more. Give me another wipe. Cracking. I use my, my wish wash sponge just to dry off any um, residue or any excess. Right, this one's going to be a bit more difficult because um, I have got to somehow get to the back of the aquarium whilst having a tripod in front of me. So I'll give it a go and uh, see what happens. Gosh, you can feel the uh, the lime scale is on there quite quite bad. And there's a paint in the bum. Thank <laughs> you. 
tire and the other side. Um, I'm just going to see if I can just wipe some of the algae off if there's any. So I think it's done a pretty decent job over in the corners here. Um, obviously you can see the reflection, that glass is actually clear here, um, but the back is uh, still pretty bad. And so it hasn't got it completely off, although to be fair, um, I can't get around there very easily. So uh, I think I'd have to use something um, a bit more stronger and maybe uh, just a, a, I don't know, something like a brush or something just to uh, try and get off those lime scale stains because they've been there for quite a while. And obviously on the, the right hand side, I've only managed to get as far as um, where my CO2 thing is on the other side of this, um, on the outside of the glass. And then obviously the bubbler at the back there. Um, so I can't get completely in there. But in terms of the front here, it looks really clear. So, and uh, yeah, I can't, I can't complain for what it does really. All right guys, um, so it's been best part of probably two months now. Um, since uh, using this um, uh, glass cleaner and uh, yeah I just guess my final thoughts are you know uh, what, what, what is the product like and, and how it's been going since uh, I started using it um, I don't often use uh, glass cleaners and stuff like that I'm not I'm not very high maintenance in terms of uh, keep my aquariums pristine and clear and stuff um, but uh, whenever I get a spare chance or, or when I'm doing my water changes maybe I'll just give that a quick once over uh, weekly with this but uh, yeah it's probably about once a week um, that I kind of use it. Um, I really like the product um, I think it's a uh, it's a decent product um, the smell is just Mm, very nice. Um, I don't know, it's, it's got a really sweet smell to it, which I really like. Um, I know that's something that shouldn't be considered for a product review, but uh, yeah, that is one pack to it, especially if you're using it. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that it gives a fair game in terms of removing kind of dirt off the aquarium. In terms of the lime scale that obviously I was trying, um, it uh, will take off, um, you know, sort of minor lime scale marks and stuff, but when it comes to the big stuff, uh, you kind of need to spray it, leave it for a, uh, a few minutes and then try and give it another wipe down. Um, I have found that I've struggled a little bit with it, but um, it's possibly due to the time that I've neglected to clean the back of my aquarium glasses more than maybe the solution. But um, yeah, who knows with that one. Um, in terms of the other two products there, I'll just quickly go over them. I know it's not part of this review, but the Wish Wash Cloth I really like. Um, that's like a chamois leather kind of thing. And um, and it's the same with the sponge. I think they're actually quite handy things, but uh, you could always use a rag to be honest, or a chamois leather if you've got one kicking around um, that's spare. So not essential, but um, I guess they're handy to have if you, if you wanted to uh, just have something dedicated for your aquariums. So I think there's an argument to be said about, um, you know, why should you use a glass cleaner aquarium solution um, as opposed to the old classic um, Sarsen's white vinegar, for example, um, product? Because um, essentially most people would argue that these are exactly the same kind of products um, and this equally gets rid of lime scale just as well. So, and, and it's probably like, you know, you, well, you pick this up dead cheap in, in supermarkets these days. Um, the only thing I would say is uh, from experience, um, yeah, it does work, but my God, does it make your kitchen smell of vinegar? So, um, or wherever you're living room or anywhere that you've got your aquariums. Um, so 
there's a bit of a dispute with it, yeah, in terms of the smell and stuff like afterwards. Um, like I said, this stuff smells really sweet, so, and it doesn't linger as well, so that's a, that's a big benefit there. And also, you know, the stuff in here is probably not gonna cause too much problems with your aquariums. Um, it, it says it's completely safe for them. Um, well, I think it did. I'm sure I read it said it was safe. Well, yeah, safe for aquarium dwellers. Um, whereas like, I guess a vinegar um, might not be the best thing to put into your aquarium for your fish. Um, so yeah, there could be an argument there. The only other thing I would say is possibly that um, when I looked up this product, uh, the price of it is £6.99, which is quite expensive for a bottle of cleaning solution. So, I mean, <sighs> I hate to say this, um, but in the past, um, I don't do it now, but in the past I have used a bit of anti-back um, that you get and uh, just sprayed it on a piece of kitchen roll and then, you know, quite quite far away from my aquariums and then just took the kitchen roll and then just wiped the glass. Um, might not be the right thing to do, but uh, it did work. So I'm not saying that that's a recommendation to go out and try, but uh, you could argue if you're feeling uh, confident or whatever, then that might be a cheaper alternative because that's a lot cheaper. But in terms of safety and the right thing to do, it's probably best to buy a bottle of uh, cleaning solution for your aquariums and uh, not go for one of the, uh, the the sort of the classic methods or or um, things that people have told you to do. Um, you know that you must do at your own risk. Um, I'm not advising that at all, so. So that's all I've got to say, really. Um, good product in terms of uh, it being sent to me. Would I pay 6 dollars for it? Not sure. I probably, in my personal view, would probably try and see if there was anything else that was slightly cheaper on the market, because I feel about six pounds is a bit expensive for some cleaning solution. Um, but um, yeah. I don't know, it's a good product for what it is and uh, I really appreciate being sent the bottle to try out, so thanks to JBL once again for that. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please give us a thumbs up and let me know what you think of this product in the comments below. Um, have you had any experiences with it? And uh, what's your thoughts and opinions? And if you could, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Um, I have plenty of videos on the way and uh, I give out weekly videos and there's tips, tricks, reviews, and a whole lot more. So hopefully there's something for everybody. And until next time, you stay safe. <music>